friends uh, in my pre previous video i solved this question from iit je uh, but i did not explain how i did it and how you should approach the problem in order to solve it in an easy way so this time i am going to do that and give you tips in the middle on how to avoid any mistakes or common mistakes that the student make so let's start by reading the question my first tip is would be to read the question properly uh, einstein once said that if if i have 1 hour to solve a question i would spend 55 minutes reading the question so please read the question carefully so let's read it together a piece is piece of wood of mass 0.03 kg is dropped from the top of a 100 meter height building so from the first line we can uh, just visualize the question so Uh, my second tip would be to visualize the question always in physics especially in these types of questions a visualization would always help you in finding out what the question is asking what you need to find and how to approach it best so uh, so f uh, from the first line we can see that there's a piece of wood uh, that we are going to draw like this and th the mass is given as 0.03 kg and it is dropped from a 100 meter high building now if you pay attention uh, to the word this one dropped here we can see that it is it says dropped that means the initial velocity u of this mass is zero that is given in the question so now moving on at the same time so it's it says at the same time it, which means the time interval between the two projectiles is zero Uh, a bullet of mass uh, 0.02 kg is fired vertically upward with a velocity of 0 meter 100 meter per second from the ground so this is the ground level and it is saying that the bullet of with velocity 100 meter per second is being fired from here upwards and the mass is given as 0.02 kg next we move on move on uh, so at this point we can uh, obviously see that the block is going to drop down and the bullet is moving upward so at that at some point these are going to collide so and that is also given in the question uh, it says here that the bullet gets embedded in the wood so this is a very important line is in this question the word embed uh, gets embedded that means that there there will be energy loss the bullet will be get will get embedded in this uh in the wood, wooden block that means at some point here where they will meet they will turn into a combined mass so this is the block and the bullet and the mass will collide here and turn into a single mass next it says that then the maximum height to which the combined system reaches above the top of the building before falling below is so the question says that this mass will now move upwards and reach a maximum height uh and they are asking this height the height above the building where the combined mass reaches let's say it is h uh and the next thing we can figure out from here is that since this is the maximum height this combined mass will reach what is going to be the final velocity of the mass here when it reaches here it's going to be zero so now that we have an overview of the question we can now see that since they are asking us the maximum height at which the combined mass reaches now we have to find what do we need to find out that value we can use this equation v square minus u square equal to 2 as So now s is the value we ha value we have to find out we know the acceleration as minus g and we have since i just told you the v final velocity here is zero so the what is left here only u is left so that means that it, if if at this point we can find out the velocity at which it starts the initial velocity of the combined mass if we can find that we can find out the height easily so let's focus on that so since we know that the bullet and the mass are getting embedded after traveling in a straight line 
we can either use two equations uh, as we know in collisions there's two main equations that we can uh, apply to get the velocities before and after one is conservation of energy and the another one is conservation of momentum now which of these would we like to use here we which which one would apply here so look carefully here since we again i draw your attention here the question says the bullet is embedded in the wood which means there's going to be some loss of energy the energy the conservation of energy cannot apply here because the energy is going to be lost when the bullet is getting embedded in the mass so this one is out of the question we cannot use this we are left with conservation of momentum which is good because conservation of momentum uh, the velocity's exponent is just one it's not v square so it is easier to solve as well so now that we know to in order to find the velocity of this combined mass we need to apply conservation of momentum let's write down the equation that we would uh, use to find out the velocity of the combined mass so the final momentum let's say capital m into capital v equals m1 v1 plus m2 v2 now the mass of the bullet and the mass of the block is known to us it is given in the question the mass values of both of these and uh, capital V is the velocity that we have to find which is written as u here so now we can easily find out the mass of the combined of the combined mass because it's just going to be the sum of the mass masses of the individual components so now we are left with v1 and v2 so in order to find out capital V we have to find out v1 and v2 notice that uh, until this point we have done no calculations and we haven't used uh, solved any kind of equations we're just understanding the question and how to f get to the answer and later you will see how easy it is to solve the question once we have done all of this work now in order to find out the uh, in order to in order to find out these two velocities what do we need what do we need so this is going to fall down and this is coming upwards so we can simply use v equals u plus at for both of these which is a fairly simple formula all you need is the time so the time at which they meet or travel this amount of distance that we have to find out so in order to find out at what time two objects moving to uh, towards each other when they are going to meet in order to find out the time what do we need we need relative velocity and we need the distance between them so let's try to find out what is the relative velocity of this mass and the bullet so since they are going to move towards each other it is fairly simple that their go velocities are going to be added to each other and not subtracted so let's write down what the velocities could be since the initial velocity of this block is zero the velocity at which it travels at any point in time t is going to be u plus gt which is going to be since u is zero simply gt and for the bullet since it has a velocity of 100 meter per second we're just going to put that as u and then we're going to subtract gt because g is acting in the opposite direction uh, at the of which the bullet is traveling so now that we have both the velocities we can calculate the relative velocities by simply adding them together which is going to be v relative equals 100 minus gt 
plus GT. And you can see that GT and GT will cancel out. And we're just left with 100. And this is very interesting because both of these pieces of mass are under the effect of gravity, which means they are acted upon by an acceleration equal to g, yet their relative velocity is constant. It is independent of g and it is independent of time. So this, this makes calculation uh, very easy for us going forward. So now that we know the relative velocity is 100, and we also know that the initial distance between these two is 100. We can just simply calculate the time t equal to 100 upon 100, which is one second. So at this point, we found out that these two mass, pieces of mass, they're going to become a combined mass after one second. Now, what we have to do is find out the velocities just before in fact so we can use the momentum uh, we can use the momentum conservation equation and find out the velocity of the combined mass just after the collision so moving forward from here so what's going to be the velocity of the bullet after 1 second the velocity of the bullet is obviously obviously 100 minus g into t which is 1 and g is 10. So it's going to be 90 meter per second. And similarly, for the mass that is being dropped from the top, v is going to be 0 plus 10 into 1, which is going to be 10 meter per second. Now all we have to do is plug these two, uh, plug these two into the conservation of momentum equation that we de uh, derived over here and we will have our answer. So let's do that. So the combined mass capital M equals 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03 equal to 0 0.05 kg. That is the value of capital M. So it's going to be 0 0.05 into velo uh, the velocity we have to find capital V E equal to 0 0.03 into 10. Uh, now there's an important point here that some people might miss is that these two velocities are in opposite direction. So they're going to not add the momentum of, we are not going, we cannot just add the momentum. We have to sep uh, subtract it. So 0 0.03 into 10 minus, oh, so this is also going to be negative if we are going to take that one as, my, and, uh, so if we are going to take this momentum as negative, the final momentum is also going to be negative. So my negative of 0 0.05 into velocity equals 0 0.03 into 10 uh, minus 0 0.02 into into 90, which is the velocity. So the capital V is going to come out as 0 0.3 minus 1.8 over 0 0.05. Now this is going to come out as 30 meter per second. So as I mentioned at the start, as soon as we have the velo initial velocity of this mass traveling upward, we can easily find out how high is going to reach. And that is going to be given by uh, V square minus U square equal to 2AS. So S is going to be uh, v square minus u square over 2 into g. Now we know the final velocity is 0 and the initial velocity is 30. The square is going to be 900 
and now we have 2 into minus 10. So this is going to be come out coming out as 45. Now once we know that the maximum height is going to reach from this point is 45 and we look at our options the options here do, uh, do not have 45 it's only 10, 20, 30 and 40 so what's missing here? what is missing here is the distance that we've just found out is from the point of meeting to the maximum height the maximum point it will reach but what we are being asked what H is being asked here is from the top of the building. So now we have to find out how, uh, the, what, I, how, what is the distance of the point of meeting from the top of the building. Which we can easily find out since we know, uh, since we know the equation S equal to UT plus half GT square. Now we know the u of this mass is 0 and the time is 1. So 1 by 2 into 10 into 1 that gives us 5 meters. So we know that this distance is 5 and that total distance is 45 which gives us the final answer as h equals to 45 minus 5 equal to 40 meters. So I hope you can see how important it is to reach the, read the question properly and then understand what is being asked and by just simply following the basic concepts we can find out the, uh, we can find out the answers relatively easily even though this is an uh, IITJE question you can see that if you go step by step understand the question have your concepts solid you can find out the answer very easily. There's nothing hard about, about this, all of this that I've done here. It, there's nothing special about this. Anybody can do this. And today, we, uh, I hope you get something valuable from this. And please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.